Uh, there's just something about walking into a brand new room where there are no stains, no chips, no scratches, no dents. Everything is brand new. There's a very nice marble top table by the window, although it makes me wonder if there's a furniture shortage due to COVID. Cause I can't imagine getting a nice table like that with only one chair. The seafoam green couch was pretty comfortable. That's where we ended up eating our room service. A nice console under the large TV. Houses your mini fridge and your snacks. And some uh, glasses and an ice bucket. Well, I was kind of surprised at the choice to have a table with one chair. I was really surprised to see an upward facing 110 outlet in a place that also looks like a good place to set your drink. Can that be a good idea? I don't ever mess with the alarm clocks, but this one seems to have every attachment you could want. The nightstands have very conveniently located charging stations. You may notice the color schemes all seem to remind you of water. Water and sunshine. There's no harsh contrast, it's all very calming to look at. The carpets look like the foam-covered Amos Bellagio fountain out front. A fairly small closet, ironing board, iron, complimentary robes, and a safe. As Mindy points out, make sure it says Bellagio on the bottom of the safe. They had it installed a few weeks ago. When did you have that installed? There's no shortage of Italian tile in the new bathrooms and it's shown off very well with the new light fixtures and mirrors. Mindy really liked the bathrooms, sinks, and the mirror. I like the new doorless walk-in shower design. Uh, they seem to have figured out that nobody uses bathroom or bathtub in the hotel rooms anymore. The Italian marble by the front door looks nice, but it actually accentuates the noise level that comes from a huge gap under the door. I'm very surprised to have that noise level and lack of privacy at a place like the Bellagio. Overall, it's a very nice room, and a stay at the Bellagio would not be complete without breakfast at Sedell's and a walk through the conservatory. <laughs>